Today we're here recording with Fretwork, one of England's premier vile consorts and the Dublin Consort Singers. So yesterday in Peterhouse in Cambridge we had a fantastic rehearsal in the wonderful setting of the chapel. I'm Bill Hunt, I'm one of the founder members of uh, Fretwork along with Richard Boothby. We're taking part in a, uh, a project that uh, Mark Keane has uh, assembled which is to record a body of work by composer John Amner and it's largely of a repertoire called Verse Anthems. It's for voices and viols which collaborate really on equal terms and a very interesting repertoire, a very large one which is still not very well known. Peter House is associated with John Amner. He stayed there for six months back in the late 1630s where he transcribed some of the music that we're performing here today. I'm Leonora dawson Bowling and I'm here today recording Amna and I'm singing the mezzo-soprano line. It's early music and it's one singer per part and we're doing some stuff with a vile consort and some is just the singers. They're between three and six singers at any time and it's a, a real mix of quite introspective, thoughtful music and then some stuff up with real verve and excitement. The texture and the sounds from the vile consort is particularly distinctive and that coupled with one voice per part is the key to making this music. Fretwork was founded in 1986. We've been playing together for over 30 years now. This is the first time we've worked with, with Mark and we're looking forward to it very much. This is really new, new music to us and uh, it's, it's fascinating and really, and really high quality music. We have a wonderful team comprising Tim and Andrew who are looking after the sound. As you can see behind me, everyone is really kind of excited and getting ready for today's performance. It's exciting because this is the first time this repertoire is being recorded and it'll be interesting to try and match the, the sound of the vials with the sound of the voices, quite often because the parts coincide, so there'll be some lovely colours created. It's magic just to actually get to this stage to hear this music that's been sitting in a library for so long and uh, we're about to give it a new sense of life. I think we've got all of those forces united together. <laughs> 